Hi, I'm Ara and I'm the CEO of Carbfix, an Icelandic company providing a rock-solid climate solution. Carbfix captures CO2 and turns it into stone underground in less than two years through proprietary technology that imitates and accelerates a process that nature has applied over millions of years to regulate the long-term CO2 concentration in the atmosphere. It's not only trees and vegetation that store carbon, huge quantities are also stored in rocks. And this is in fact nature's way of permanently storing carbon. What we did was figure out a way to speed up the process using science and innovation. So by applying our technology, CO2 can be transformed to stone in less than two years, rather than the process taking hundreds to thousands of years. The piece of rock sample shown on the slide consists of basalt, one of the most common rock types on Earth. Embedded in the pores and fractures of the grey basalt, you see white crystals. And these are carbonate minerals that contain solidified CO2. Carbfix started out as a collaborative research project between industry and academia in Iceland, Europe and the US in 2007. In just seven years, we transformed an idea on paper to a proven industrial scale technology, allowing us to fight climate change by imitating and accelerating nature's way of permanently turning CO2 emissions to stone underground. Here you can see the Carbfix timeline to date highlighting the main development phases we've gone through, along with some major milestones. Over the past five years, we've scaled up and optimized our capture and injection operations, increased our understanding of subsurface processes, and continued further development of the technology. We became commercial in 2019 when Carbfix was established as a separate company. We continue to be research and innovation driven and our team has published over 100 peer-reviewed scientific papers. The Carbfix technology is applicable to both avoiding, avoiding CO2 emissions as well as removing CO2 already emitted to the atmosphere, both of which are vital at scale if we are to achieve our climate goals. This animation explains how the Carbfix technology is currently being applied at the Hattlesheide Geothermal Power Plant in Iceland, where Carbfix was developed. Power plant emissions are taken through a water scrubbing tower where the CO2 dissolves in a shower of water under pressure. Think of this as an oversized soda stream machine that makes carbonated water, which is then injected into favorable rock formations for permanent storage. In less than two years, the injected CO2 is permanently transformed to stone. The technology is highly modular. Alternative capture technologies can be applied instead of water scrubbing, and the gas and water can also be mixed downhole rather than at the surface, all depending on which is more favorable and economic on a side-by-side -side basis. The technology is applicable beyond the geothermal sector and can be adapted to steel, cement, various types of power plant and other sources of CO2. The overall on-site cost of applying the whole Carbfix ECS chain at Hattlesede is about $25 per tonne, which is comparable with the current price of carbon quota on the ETS market. Significant cost savings are achieved compared to conventional CCS due to the fact that we can use shallower wells and do not need to purify and liquefy CO2 prior to injection. In fact, the process has the benefit of being able to co-capture and co-sequester other common industrial gases like sulfur, which participate in the mineral transformation process underground. In addition to preventing power plant emissions in Hattlesede, we also turned previously emitted CO2 into stone underground through collaboration with the Swiss company Climeworks, which operates direct air capture units at the site. To my knowledge, this is the only operating atmospheric carbon removal and mineral storage chain in the world. Last year, a groundbreaking agreement was signed between Carbfix and Climeworks on scaling up these activities, and this new project has secured financing and purchases of carbon credits from large international companies such as Microsoft.
If we look at the broad perspective when it comes to climate action and limiting temperature increase on our planet to well below 2 degrees, we have a huge task in front of us. We need to avoid over 1,000 billion tons of CO2 emissions in the next 40 years, and thereof carbon capture and storage has to provide somewhere between 100 and 200 billion tons. And it's a fact that climate goals will not be met without widespread application of carbon capture and storage. The potential for applying CO2 mineral storage in basalts around the globe is enormous, far greater than ever needed for climate action. The trick is to practically and economically capture and transport CO2 to the storage sites. Carbfix has developed an interactive open source database, or ATLAS, which links favorable storage formations around the world to the location of large emitters. The Atlas is available on our website, carbfix.com, and we encourage viewers to visit the website and explore the feasibility for applying the Carbfix technology in their home country and region. Another important factor to keep in mind is the fact that the basalts and other geological formations favorable for CO2 mineral storage are typically located in other locations than the formations generally used for classical storage of supercritical CO2. CO2 mineral storage in basalts therefore unlocks large regions that have previously not been considered as candidates for CCS. These two different CCS methods therefore very well complement one another, making CCS a possibility in more varied locations throughout the world, both onshore and offshore. What's unique about the Carbfix CO2 mineral storage technology is that it's safe. Any potential leakage risk is fully eliminated by dissolving CO2 in water. It's cheaper and involves lower upfront capital costs and risk than alternative solutions. The technology is environmentally friendly as it imitates and accelerates nature's way of storing CO2 in rocks. No added chemicals are needed, only electricity and water. Injected CO2 is permanently removed as the minerals that form are stable for thousands of years, and this also limits the need for long-term monitoring. The technology builds on firm scientific foundation and background, and we apply robust monitoring campaigns to demonstrate transformation of CO2 to minerals. The Carbfix technology is highly flexible and modular with respect to capture technology, injection strategy, and upscaling, and the global storage capacity is more or less unlimited when put in context with what is needed for achieving our climate goals. And last but not least, the technology enjoys high level of public acceptance and has repeatedly, as has repeatedly been confirmed by public surveys. In addition to high level of public acceptance, we also enjoy interest, awareness and support from heads of state, the highest level of government and global politics, as well as state and local authorities. The global mass media and film industry have also shown great interest in us and published a number of stories about the Carbfix technology and its potential impact on climate action. Carbfix is on a mission to become a key instrument in exponentially scaling up climate action with the objective of turning as many tons of CO2 into stone underground as possible. Our goal is to reach the gigaton scale in 2030. Our scale of concept consists of three parallel pathways. Firstly, for point sources located in vicinity of favorable storage formations, on-site carbon capture and mineral storage is most economic. Secondly, where on-site storage is not an option, captured CO2 can be transported over significant distances and across borders we are transport networks to large-scale mineral storage hubs where economies of scale can significantly bring down cost of the CCS value chain. Transport networks can be comprised of pipelines, trains or ships or mixture thereof. Thirdly, scale-up of permanent atmospheric carbon removal by direct air capture and CO2 mineral storage is also vital in climate action and can be carried out in separate projects or in combination with on-site capture and storage as well as hub operations. We are working on various fronts for scaling up CO2 mineral storage on a global level as well as further developing the Carbfix technology 
to maximize its potential impact. Ongoing projects and services include establishing new and upscaled CO2 mineral storage projects in which CarbFix offers consultancy, CO2 termination services, access to IP technology and equipment. Ongoing innovation further includes bringing the CarbFix technology towards offshore applications and making it applicable to different geological formations. As a sign of ever-increasing interest in CO2 mineral storage, this map shows ongoing operations with our technology along with new injection projects that are in preparation as well as location of parties interested in assessing the feasibility of applying the CarbFix technology as a part of their climate strategy. Our influence has begun to spread around the world and our plan is to systematically build a global CarbFix ecosystem. If you want to become part of our rock-solid climate action, please contact us through our website, email or social media. Thank you for your attention.